What's going on YouTube? So I got this Nike Invincible 2 1000 miles. Thought I'd go ahead and do a review of it. Also purchased this Nike Invincible and it's not the same shoe. So stay tuned. I'll tell you all about it. Alright, let's start with the 1000 mile review of the original Nike Invincible. So, my cons were this outsole material is just terrible. It sounds like a flat tire uh, running down the road. So, actually, I'm probably not going to purchase an additional pair of uh, Nike Invincible shoes until they change the outsole of this. Another negative to the shoe they put the reinforcing material on the wrong side of the shoe. Most people pronate, over pronate to that side. Uh, you can see it's starting to wear through there, but pretty impressive. This is the first shoe that I've gotten a thousand miles of, out of. Most shoes get maybe a hundred, uh, 250 I think's the industry standard. So uh, fairly good, but you could got maybe 1500 miles if they would put the reinforcing material on that side of the shoe. And finally, well, it's an easy day shoe. Uh, you're not gonna race in this. The material is rather thick, so if you run in this on a hot, humid day, it's going to absorb moisture and collect a lot of water. All right, the positives about this shoe. I got it to 1,000 miles. Whoever gets a pair of shoes, the 1,000 miles. Now, and look, not much uh, creasing in the insole there. Now, most of my miles are on the treadmill. I have a couple miles outside, but most of my miles are on the treadmill. Running about 80 miles a week right now, training for a marathon. So, and then the, this the the cushioning. Uh, it's an awesome easy day shoe. It can pump out you know, 10 miles a day. Legs never get sore just because of the Nike ZMX foam that they have in there. During my 500 mile review, I recommended to you to go ahead and uh, purchase this $170 off Running Warehouse. Also went up the Dicks today, and they're still selling for 170. So I went and bought another pair. And it's it's not the same shoe so you could see here the the creasing on the zoom x foam is a little bit more i think there's something different about this one you can see it has these black dots so they mixed a different type of material within the zoom x foam there uh it is tearing on both shoes i don't know if you could see it but there's a starting to tear there in both shoes and uh it's pulling away the fabric's pulling away from the zoom x foam right there and on the other side. Additionally, the material used for the upper is, is even more thicker than the other uh, Invincible. And uh, just during, during the summer, hot runs, this really absorbs the water. All right, there you have it. Hope you enjoyed the video. So in summary, if you see this one out there, don't buy it. Uh, if you could find the original, the original's awesome. And I hope, if Nike, if you're listening out there, please change the outsole material on the bottom and put the reinforcing material on the other side of the outsole. There you have it.